Hey, what's up, YouTube? Um, I'm finally back, and I'm active. Sorry for the, me being inactive. I know I've been gone for quite a while now, but I'm back and look forward to more tutorials and more videos. Today, I'm going to teach you how to make a Craft Bucket 1.5.2 server, and this is the version that is. It it came out a couple days ago. I don't know when, but it just came out and it's new, so it's the most recent one. All right, the first thing you want to do is have a folder for all your files. That's where we're gonna put all the files in, and then click on this link that says dl.bucket.org, and click Download Craft Bucket Development Build. Once you click this, the file will come down here, and you've got to wait. About a good minute, 30 seconds, depending on your connection. Alright, so once this thing is downloaded, drag it into your server folder that you created and right click on it and rename it to just Craft Bucket. Just Craft Bucket, that's all you have to put. And then, the next thing is to make sure you have the most recent ver version of Java so if you come to the, if you don't have the most recent version then come to this page and choose what kind of computer system you have like Windows if it was me I'd be clicking on Windows 64 EXE alright so make sure you have that and then the next thing you want to do is go to notepad and paste in what I have in the description in the empty notepad file and then click file save as and then type run.bat make sure you have this exact name for it run.bat and save it in your minecraft server folder All right. So go ahead and save that in there and double click on it. And if it starts generating all this stuff and all these words then you know you you've got it working. And it's generating all the folder files and everything like that. And if you take a look at this website, it can show you what kind of it can show you a guide to port forwarding for your router. Click here on the side and you, you can choose your own router. Just choose a random one to show you and then choose your model number. And then click search and it'll bring up I'll close this ad. And then you choose your game. So go down to Minecraft. Minecraft server. And then if you click on here after choosing your router type then it'll bring up a guide that will show you how to port forward from Minecraft. So take a look at that. Or you can look at a different video. Search any video on YouTube. There's tons of port forwarding videos. That's basically it. So if you got this working and you've got all your server files and you port forwarded, then you're good to go. Thanks for watching.